Alright now, part 2 of the free brushes video. I made a part 1 of these and because it got many likes I created part 2 now. If you wanna see part 1 click the link up in this video. So in this video I will show you different ways to use these brushes and they are all free to download. Do me a favor and like or comment on this video and watch it until the end. So that way you're supporting this channel and I can continue with creating videos to share. And if you watch it until the end, I will show you something for Photoshop that you could download for free, which is going to be something that you're going to use a lot, because it will help you with blending images together in a composition. So without further ado, let's get started. To install one of these brushes, just go to the file that you downloaded, unzip it and double click on it. And if that doesn't work, just select the brush tool, select this and open up this panel and import brushes. And there you want to select the file that you downloaded. Alright, in my previous video I showed a brush that helps out with cutting out animals and hair of people. And in this one I will show you one that helps with the details of the fur or the hair. So this brush, short hair or fur. and. If you look at this you can even make this better so you want to make a new layer behind your cutting out animal or human and after that you can just brush little details like this fur so it really creates a fluffy fluffy animal here and it looks a lot better now and you can do this with hair also light leaks this isn't really a brush but this is a pack that contains 71 different light leaks that you can use in your editing so I'm really happy I discovered this one and the only thing you have to do with these is when you finish with a design just drag it in your file and change the blending mode here to screen and that's it and look how cool this is you can create like these light effects just by dropping different types of light leaks to your edit so this is pretty cool and you can just play around here with the settings and make it like just a little bit or more if you want just try different of these and I'm sure you can create something cool with these so check all these out and the spray splatter these are really cool to work with text so for instance if you have this one and you want to create something cool with it you can either use it like this just make like this spray somewhere or you can also just make a mask of your text and use a black brush and after that you can make like this effect to your text so this is pretty cool and new thing you can do here is create a new layer and use a normal brush and make sure it's the it's not the soft round brush but it's the hard round brush and if you hold down shift and make like this and another one next to it but smaller it looks like it's dripping like paint or something so this is pretty cool and you can use this together with this paint spray bladder brush the water splash brushes these are really cool if you have compositions like this so you can create like water splashing from surfaces or from the water here for instance like here maybe here and you can use this for different compositions also close-up photos of stuff with water around it so let me as set one here so try out all these brushes they have like 13 brushes and the best thing about it they are high resolution so you need to make them smaller which means the quality will stay at its best so these are really cool and check them out next one is the free snow brushes pack these are really cool because you don't have to look for images of snow anymore you can just create a new layer on top of your design and just click one time and you're done so like this especially during christmas this is pretty cool to add to your compositions and because you made it to the end of the video i'm gonna show you this one extra this is the gradient maps here these are more than 100 gradient so if you go here to gradient map and select one of these inspiring b gradients these are really cool to change the look of your composition so for instance if i use this one i'm just gonna change the blending mode here to overlay drop the opacity and i can instantly change the the look and feel of this image so it got a lot warmer now and try out all these different type of gradient these are really cool and i usually use this when i'm done with the edit and to change the look and feel of the image so this can also help with blending image images better together so this before this after looks a lot different now i think it's pretty cool so thank you for watching i hope you liked my video don't forget to subscribe if you like it and don't forget to like this video and see you in the next one